There are many scandals in the entertainment business, but few are as complex and compelling as the drama surrounding Diddy, Nicki Minaj, and Meek Mill. The audience has been enthralled by the shocking findings and accusations that this story is revealing. So take a seat back as we explore this complex story in detail. Hi there, and welcome back to Rumor Spill. Not because of her music, but rather because of her relationships with powerful people in the industry such as Diddy and her previous romance with Meek Mill, Nikki Minaj has recently found herself back in the spotlight. It all began when Minaj made the audacious choice to sever ties with Diddy, her manager. Her relationship with him was brief it ended a few months after it started. Minaj resisted Diddy's attempts to include her in his infamous industry parties, which were well known for their scandalous events. This supposedly upset Diddy.Jaguar Wright's remarks, in which he said that Minaj Hay had spent her early career living in terror of Diddy, added fuel to the fire. Surrounding this debate, Wright's suggestion that Diddy coerced Minaj into going to his extravagant parties introduced a new level of mystery to the story. Regretfully, Minaj and Diddy's split was temporary. Rumors circulated that she was exposed to unpleasant practices while dating Meek Mill because he allegedly forced her back into Diddy's orbit. The involvement of music producer Elrod, who revealed a lawsuit accusing Diddy of sexual misbehavior involving multiple other well-known individuals, including Meek Mill, complicates the storyline. Although Elrod did not mention names, he gave enough information to draw conclusions. For example, he identified one of the participants as a well-known R&B singer and the other as a well-known Philadelphia rapper who was romantically associated with Nicki Minaj.Fans, demanded answers and clarification from the accused parties on social media, which turned into a war amid. These claims. Usher opted to say nothing but Meek Mill fiercely defended his reputation on Twitter. He declared his resolve to bring about constructive changes in his community, expressing outrage over the accusations and reiterating his innocence. Meek Mill denied any involvement in the alleged actions with Diddy, but shortly after, an audio clip appeared that appeared to support that claim. There was no visible proof to definitively verify Meek's involvement, but the clip included a voice that sounded disturbingly similar to his in a distressed situation. Many people were convinced that this audio clip was actually Meek, especially after an old video of Meek looking uneasy at one of Diddy's parties surfaced. Diddy's former bodyguard made additional disclosures, claiming to have captured incriminating footage at one of the events. He claimed that the celebration featured drug-fueled revelry and that attendees were passing out, which gave him the opportunity to record audio of the unsettling scenes. His story revealed a darker aspect to the glitzy gatherings that the media frequently highlights. According to Jaguar Wright, there was a shocking revelation that suggested Nicki Minaj may have been the one to release the film. Wright claimed that Minaj opted to leak the recording anonymously after delaying its release out of concern for Diddy's retaliation. This was purportedly a planned action intended to reveal the truth and exact revenge on people who had mistreated her, especially Meek Mill. Nicki Minaj was getting ready to launch a candid documentary on HBO Max, which would provide an unvarnished glimpse at her personal and professional life while this intricate tale played out. It was anticipated that this documentary would discuss her turbulent relationship with Meek Mill and her choice to oust Diddy, from her managerial position. But the unexpected cancellation of its release led to rumors that its potentially explosive substance was being concealed. The story also mentioned former remarks made by Minaj on her Queen radio show in which she alluded to Meek Mill's dubious actions and the violent character of a few of her previous relationships. These remarks gave the persistent rumors about the entertainment industry's secrecy and occasionally evil characters, greater weight.to sum up. The story of Nicki Minaj, Meek Mill, and Diddy is a complex one about influence, power, and defiance. It draws attention to the difficulties that artists frequently experience in the entertainment business, 
which is characterized by pressure and manipulation beneath a dazzling fey aid. This dispute serves as a sharp reminder of the intricate dynamics that exist inside the music industry, just as the audience eagerly anticipates further developments. Rumors about Nicky's purported long-standing animosity toward Meek for his previous deeds have been going around for years. Rumor has it that she once bought off a bodyguard to get a compromising tape leaked in order to settle scores. Despite the sensational nature of such statements, it is worthwhile to investigate them in order to uncover any underlying realities. I in a stunning turn of events, Lil Rod's complaint revealed that Diddy had improperly influenced Meek Mill, bringing attention to the couple's alleged dubious activities. The case sparked a flurry of controversy, particularly after it was revealed that Diddy was in a compromising position in a video that went viral, sparking wild speculation. The storyline took a dramatic turn when social media posts surfaced with claims that Diddy was responsible for setting up misfortunes for Nikki years prior, maybe forcing her into questionable circumstances. These new charges have stoked controversy even further by presenting a picture of pervasive betrayal. The controversy between Nikki Minaj and Meek Mill has not only continued, but gotten more intense since their split. As more information regarding Meek's behavior during their relationship has come to light, Nikki has been transparent about her history and has illuminated the less positive parts of their union. Considering their prominent positions in the rap industry, many people were taken aback by Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill's relationship when it began in 2015. It is absolutely disgusting to think that he ever spat on her after a fight. A T first. Everything about their relationship appeared perfect. Meek was Nikki's opening act during her pink print tour of North America. The pair was clearly in love with one another, but as is often the case in public partnerships, their bliss didn't last. Even though the precise reasons for their eventual breakup were unknown, their tearful social media posts suggested a turbulent breakup. Nikki later discussed her personal hardships in a teaser for her documentary series Queen, which debuted on HBO Max. She talked about her early experiences with domestic abuse, sharing how she saw her father torture her mother and made a pledge to never let any man treat her badly. I in the documentary, Nikki offered insight into her resolve, influenced by her early trauma. My mother endured a lot. And as a child, I stood in defense, promising myself never to face such abuse, Nikki reflected. Her connection with Meek lasted for about 10 years, and after parting ways with Safray Samuels, her brief interactions with other well-known people, such as Naz, drew further attention. Meek's response to questions regarding their relationship during this time only served to heighten rumors and controversy. Public demonstrations of their previous love turned sour when old footage of Meek's violent behavior toward Nikki in public places appeared online. Her smile turned into a grimace, clearly uncomfortable, a sharp contrast to the affection she had before displayed. More about Meek's temperament became apparent after their split. Following Nikki's new relationship, he made music specifically directed at her, releasing lines that many took to be scathing and retaliatory. You were supposed to be my Beyonce, now you're just this, he rapped, implying that she had declined after their breakup. Fascinatingly, Meek became entangled in a real-life trauma at a public function over a heated discussion. The situation intensified when he supported a disparaging social media post comparing Nikki's new partner, Kenneth Petty, to a mannequin. Nikki didn't hold back, calling Meek an obsession and making him look bad in front of others. She vented on Instagram, criticizing Meek for her claimed violent history. Meek responded by bringing up her brother's legal troubles. He said that Nikki's accusations were a last-ditch effort to damage his reputation by associating him with claims of abuse. Subscribe Rumors Spill for more videos.